This is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, and we have the perfect couple for the day. Um, like I said earlier, they dated, courted, and what have you, and have not for about eight to nine years, and have been married for nine years. She's a writer, blogger, and an author, while he's an advertising practitioner. Let's welcome Sally and Owen Dadzi. <laughs> Welcome. Thank Thanks you. Happy, happy Valentine's Day. Oh, happy, happy Valentine's, Valentine's Day. It's a lovely too. day to be here. Yeah. Yes, it is. All right, so speaking of the love songs and the top five, so what's your favorite song together? Love songs. <laughs> that song you would say, that is our song. That is yeah, yeah, our song. Yeah, we have song. a song. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, so do we have a song? Yes. Okay, there was a song he played for me on our very first date, um, This I Promise You by NSYNC. Mm. Yeah. Mm. The, can, that you sing, can you sing a little bit of that song? So? I, I can't even remember it. It's been <laughs> so long. <laughs> I don't know, live TV. I just closed the ears. Yeah. But it was one song that re I related to, and you know, those days you had to use all kinds of things to get to a girl. Mm. So it was music I was using. I kept mm. on playing music, trying to, you know, express myself a lot more. So. Mm. That's how and what song makes you relate to him? Like whenever you hear the song, you just think of him. Oh, a lot. Mm. We were music people. Okay, yeah, so, so just give us one. Oh, <laughs> oh uh, it will have to be um, your body's a wonderland. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, By so, John Mayer. Um, I, I just want to ask what Valentine's Day looks like for both of you. I mean, you've been together for many years. You've yeah. seen a lot of Valentine's yes, days. What does that usually look like? Um. Do you want to answer that? No, you answer it. <laughs> okay. It's it's some sometimes it's just normal. We don't do anything. Absolutely. It's just. It's like any other day. Yeah. Any other day, we just stay in. And sometimes he surprises me with one thing or mm. the other, or I do the same. So it's not like we have something planned mm. for every Valentine's, no. Mm. Oh, you, you know how we talked earlier, we talked about love languages and stuff. Do you guys both have the same love languages, or is it different? Mm. Um, I think it's more psychological. We don't usually have words, you know. Mm. We tend to read each other's body languages, mm. you know, and certain things, certain cues. Mm. Like she would just give me a, a wink, I'm like, <laughs> against you know, the whole. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know what he means. It, I think it's because we've stayed with each other for too so long. Mm. <laughs> I wanted to say too long, but so long, mm. and so we know each other very, very well. Mm -hmm. So that's why. Okay, so being married to a woman like her, a woman like her in the sense, uh, I mean, she's a feminist. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. And an open one. Yeah. And some Nigerians have this very skewed mindset when it comes to feminism. They believe the feminists are people that hate men. Monsters. Mm -hmm. Or people that, are not, <laughs> people that are not happily married. Yeah. So how would you describe be, knowing a feminist for this long? First thing, uh, you have to understand the ideology of feminism. Mm -hmm. yep. It's a woman just wants to be equal. She wants to sit on the same table with a man, and that's how I see it. Mm. And the way I was brought up, I wasn't the guy that was kept away from the kitchen. Mm. You know, my, my dad used to cook during the weekends. It's the weekends where the days the guys cooked. Mm. So chores, things were just done as your responsibility to handle it. It wasn't a woman's responsibility. Mm. It wasn't a guy's responsibility. It was just everyone's responsibility. So I never saw a woman as less or an mm. equal to me. So when we got married, it was always a balance. Mm. How do, how, I, don't, I don't see how the society would not accept feminism. Mm. Uh, because I'm a bit of a feminist myself. Mm. No, okay. Not a bit, I'm a lot. Mm. <laughs> so, mm. so I understand the thinking that, mm. OK, I think because patriarchy has been there for so long, yeah. so it's difficult to just let go of that kind of system. Yeah. All right, so um, would you actually say you're feminist or an egalitarian? How are you accent? Me? I said, no, no. I'm talking to you right now. Like, would you say you're a bit of a feminist or a lot of a feminist or an egalitarian? No, I'm a lot of a feminist. Mm. Not egalitarian. No. You don't what? believe in equality of all sexes. That's what everybody. feminism is. That's, that's, that's what, what feminism, feminism is. is. No, no, but egalitarian is that equality of all people, regardless of the that's gender. That's what feminism is. You can is. be, you, you can be, be an egalitarian and not a feminist. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Not a feminist. exactly. So, which one would you, what tag would you rather take? <laughs> feminist or egalitarian? <laughs> <laughs> 
So um, what tag would you rather take, feminist or egalitarian? I'll take feminist. Okay. Mm -hmm. Great. That's what I'll I, take. I, I, I think what he's trying to say is, is because, you know, feminism has kind of like been demonized a little bit mm. and people want to shy away from that. So now they call themselves humanitarian and egalitarian. egalitarian. Yeah, and oh, like, no, that's not just it. There are people that have tell you, I'm tired of being a feminist. I'm no longer a feminist. From now on, call I'm me. I'm a humanitarian. No. Well, yeah, like egalitarian. Mm, I don't even know what's it. It definitely stems from ignorance because yeah. um, the, the, the it's the same thing. The same thing. Mm -hmm. um, but just to go just back ignorance. to love, um, a lot of the times, especially for people who are not married, mm. this marriage thing just seems like a huge, complicated layer of you know long life commitment with someone. How do you go in there? How do you go in there with confidence to know that okay, this is this person is the person I want to pretty much put myself locked in for the rest of my life with like how do you know that um well i wouldn't say there there isn't a template for this i believe that everybody has their own love story yeah. so i can use my story with him our love story for everyone but then i feel like okay let me say for me i found freedom i grew up in a very conservative home mm -hmm. and i had to struggle with being myself and doing what, what the society or what my parents wanted. So with him, I was free and I was not afraid to be myself. Mm. So um, then I was comfortable as well. Um, it felt like a constant holiday mm. with him. So yeah, and when you find that one person that you can truly be yourself with, where you just want to run to, you just, all your problems, you're not ashamed to mm. be naked mm. in front of that person. I feel like, yeah. yeah. I think it took the naked a bit too late. Yeah, I'm naked. TMI. <laughs> okay, so um, we need to go. Time is never your friend when you're having fun, but this is not the end. We will definitely carry on this conversation in the next episode. This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. My name is Elsie Godwin. Do join us again.